very good evening today i am go going to discuss about using the power of sun and moon during corona times i saw it somewhere in one of my friends post and it was discussing about i'm always amazed by the presence of sun and moon so it's same case with me whenever i see sun in morning and whenever i see moon in evening or night i'm always amazed they have some special purpose on and that's why our earth is rotating around sun and moon is rotating around earth so in this corona times when there are turbulence of emotions we need to understand the power of each of these planets and they can be used to get better healing results most of people think and pray to god imagining that they are located somewhere in sky or in temple or in hearts but if we see our sun and moon they are no less than gods because every i have told this before that no matter what happens a sun will come in morning to sh show us the sunshine so no matter we are alive or not sun is going to show itself if it is a rainy day we still know that sun is there behind but if we can say that anything which is going to happen for sure no matter what is day and night in day we get sun and in night we get moon sometimes moon doesn't appear but it doesn't mean that it's not there only the sun rays are not falling on its uh, or able to create the reflection so let's talk about use utilizing the power of moon so human beings have emotions human beings are 70% made up of water and moon is the sign of water so if if we utilize the power of understanding moon significance in our lives then that can really help to overcome our turbulence of emotions many people you will see that they will feel very depressed most of times and they are not able to understand why they are feeling depressed why they are feeling anxiety why they are feeling so low so for those people if they pray to moon during nights that can really bring a help especially on mondays if certain mantras are recited then they can help a person to overcome his anxiety and emotion turbulence issue have you ever imagined if moon suddenly disappears and never decides to appear again then what can happen on earth yes gravitational uh, pull is one of the things uh, that sea waves but do you can you imagine the answer to this question if moon decides not to show for maybe one year on earth then what will happen guess what the fruits and the vegetables will lost will lose their taste and juices yes planets use plants use their the moonlight of uh moon during nights to prepare the juices and the taste this is written in bhagavad gita and this is something which is not known to everybody so this is the power of the moon if moon doesn't up show itself for long period of time 
vegetables and fruits and flowers will start losing their smell their taste and their juices so moon is very very important planet and we should take it literally as a god and we should pray to our moon and for our betterment and control of our emotions this can really help the mantra is om shreem chandraya namaha this is a very powerful mantra another mantra is om som somay namaha so this is another very powerful mantra if done 108 times during nights can bring amazing health effects now talking about sun sun is the only one source of natural inner uh, sunlight or light so we can say that we have this one natural resource of light and the energy which we receive in form of light and heat has also have colors so and the colors are rib jor violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red so if we utilize this colors of sun light for our healing then definitely it can bring lots and lots of healing in our body because our body is having subtle chakras and each of these subtle chakras have got the energy and the color like our root chakra is red in color our swadhisthan chakra is orange in color our manipur chakra is yellow in color our anahat chakra is green in color our vishuddhi chakra is blue in color our agya chakra is indigo in color and our uh, crown chakra is violet in color sahasra chakra so if we every day morning utilize sunlight to fall upon us with asking sun god to be thankful and be grateful then that sunlight can cause amazing healing effect on human body only we need to understand stand in front of sun with kind of gratitude feeling and allow the sun rays to fall on our body and we absorb it naturally so this can bring amazing healing effects on a person another way to utilize the sun sun's actual power is using is using the mantras so there is one shlok which is known as aditya hriday srotram and this shlok is very very strong and if recited regularly on sunday can bring a person who is completely fearful to become super courageous it will it can have amazing healing effects amazing changes in relationship spouse relationship parents relationship so sun is amazing source of natural energy and healing and it needs to be used in uh, the way which it can bring really amazing uh, changes in person's life you, know, you see when a person is born if his sun is in weak position then definitely he need to focus on fixing it because otherwise he will ha- never have the required courage or gut to feel or to experience a situation you will see that many people whenever they say uh, face difficulty they just run away from it there many people who are saying that they are very courageous but when it comes to facing the actual problem they just run away or they be they may be changing their words so i would say that if we really use the power of sun and moon in very correct ways definitely it's, it's going to bring amazing healing effects in humans 
uh, health, a person's health, a person's relationship, a person's emotional state, and a person's success. It, it gives a person courage to face people. So I would say that during Corona times, we are staying at home and we can utilize our, or we are going to our native places where we have this uh, uh, be more better reach to the sun and more clear environment. So maybe we can utilize it for becoming a better person. So this is what I wanted to say via this session. So take care. And here I go.